Good morning. <clears throat> All the video that you're gonna about to see after this took place yesterday and the day before yesterday. <clears throat> I edited everything this morning and it came out to like a two hour video of disassembling the 4L80E, installing the re reluctor, rear speed sensor reluctor wheel onto the rear planetary and then reassembling. It came out to like a two hour video. So I slimmed it all down of me disassembling the rear planetary, pressing the reluctor wheel on, uh, DIY at home, no press involved. And basically that's it. Um, you guys let me know if you wanna see the whole video and I'll chop it up into like four parts. You know, disassembly, uh, doing some other stuff. It's like two hours long. I, I couldn't do that to you guys, it's just too long. So, um, I just slimmed it right down to the, get to the nitty gritty on what were the whole purpose of why we took the transmission back apart. So, and, the re and that reason is, is because I was having shifting concerns. The transmission would shift from one to two, but it wouldn't shift to two, three, or to three, four. That being said, one of my subscribers watched my earlier videos that I put out, um, the re the 4L80E rebuild, <clears throat> excuse me, and he had a question about his rear planetary area. So when he had sent me a picture of his, I noticed that his had a rear gear, uh, that rear reluctor wheel. Mine did not because my transmission was a four wheel drive that I converted to a two wheel drive. His transmission is a two wheel drive that he's converting to a four wheel drive. And just out of luck, I stumbled on that. I, I looking at his pictures and my old video footage and I found that mine doesn't have a reluctor wheel. So, that's what stemmed this whole set of videos. So, if you wanna see the whole video, I can chop it up in like four half hour long videos and you and I will post them. Just let me know down in the comments. Um, but really, if you wanna see the same thing basically again just watch my earlier video of the rebuild and you'll get all the same stuff <laughs> really but anyway uh i am driving on my way to work like i said this is like this all started two days ago so this what you're watching right here is it's all back together the transmission's all back together i just gotta i forgot my torque wrenches yeah at work so I gotta torque everything tonight and then it's going in tonight so um, let me know like I said in the comments thanks for watching okay so here's our rear gear set here's our new tail shaft housing that I had replaced well there is a three third piece that I didn't replace the well when I bought the set to make it two-wheel drive I bought that tail shaft uh, the, the rear output shaft because the four-wheel drive one's only like this long and I bought the tail shaft housing which is on the back of the transmission it's an aluminum housing that bolts to the back of the tranny the third piece which I totally didn't even catch my fault didn't catch it was a reluctor wheel that goes right here that reluctor wheel is I'll show you to keep going. Humera has a proven track record of being prescribed for over 10 years. Humera works inside the body to target and help block that's what's missing from right here. That contributes to symptoms. Most adults taking Humera so we have to install this and, many saw and it's a press fit. And even 90% clearance in just four months. So and the kind of clearance that can last.
That's the long and short of it. So I gotta disassemble this. I'm gonna do that right now. So I'm used to having a hole to set this down in. Um, I suppose you can stand it up like this. Kind of balance it, but I don't know how much I'm digging that. But. Great news. Liberty Mutual um, customizes. I deliver the news around here. Sources say Liberty Mutual customizes your car insurance so you only pay for what you need. Over to you, Logo. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Here at my shop, we're focused on one thing. Taking crazy ideas. Just like that. Come true. That's why we feel that. Okay, we're rested. Go ahead and block it. Let's get the truck. No matter how sketchy the situation appears, you can always try to find the safest way possible to do something. And the guy showed that today. A little more. Okay. A little more. Okay, we're on. Let's strap it down. Awesome. All right. With a little sweat and muscle, the Nova Mason. I want to take this tail shot housing off because. God, it's going to be easier to deal with. And this thing is ice cold right now. And there's no doubt in my mind after I leave this thing outside all night long and it gets frosty cold, after I put that reluctant wheel in the oven at 500 degrees, that that's just going to drop right on. But I'd like to have this on a flat surface so it's not flopping around, you know? That's why I'm trying to take this off. Oh, already feel it. This is going to be a revolution for me to put in an old car. Not that they're power, that they're cooled. Pete is there a genius, go. as always. I don't know, all the wires we needed, all of them work in both seats. So I'm really excited about that. Let me just walk that ring out of there. Troy is working on dismantling the seat. Now inside here. First up is the gas tank. There's a three-piece gear, a gear, bearing. I don't see any problems so far, so good, everything's going smooth. He's also using compressed air to get rid of debris, removing or loosening the nuts, bolts, and connectors, and unfastening the straps that hold the tank in place. The fuel tank is around 16 gallons, or 61 liters. He's coming apart. That's a quality fuel pump, so I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing. Just nice and clean. I'm going to leave that right there like that. Now that Steve and Pete have tested out the seats, the next step is to bring them to Gabe's so they can work on the upholstery. So today I brought up the Porsche Panamera seats so that I'm retrofitting. Slide this out of here like that. Project. <laughs> that sounds cool. So Gage there to is disassemble elements of the Porsche seats. Our piece. Remove the headrest. So I'm gonna put this outside. And ensure there are perforation holes for the cooling elements to take effect. Overnight. Along with the Porsche seats. Let that I good get good and ice cold. So tomorrow morning when I wake up at 4:30, 5 o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna put the stove on 500 degrees. And it also I'm gonna put that ring color I need for the interior, in the oven so to match that, to at 500 degrees. You'll also be adding some foam to the rear bench seat. This so will be ice cold. For the level of expertise that is underneath this roof at Gabe's, my Porsche seats and then I'm gonna bring that in. Deal for them. Come outside, I'm gonna pull this out of the oven, and I'm gonna go Boop. and drop it right on there. gear set now from outside and uh, our temperature our oven is up to temp it's been in there for about 20 minutes so let's do this
go. Slip right on there. It slid right on. That's amazing. That's amazing. Science. Science, science, science. I love it. Is it still hot? Yeah, she's still warm. All right, that's uh. Let's go uh, put this. Actually, I'm just gonna leave that right there. All right. Well, no sense in filming that uh, cooling. So I'm gonna pause you guys. Okay. So. I'm out in the garage. Um, I had to keep quiet. I was in the kitchen, and I don't want to. It's five. It's five o'clock in the morning. I don't want to wake my old lady up. So, so I had to stay real quiet. But now I'm out in the garage. I want to say, "Fuck yeah, that worked awesome." Oh. So here, let me. It's it's now. Both the temperatures have met. So let me turn it around. And that reluctor wheel is locked right on there. It's locked right on there. You ain't moving that. That's unbelievable. Science. I love it. You know, I didn't think it was going to work at first. I was like, ah, you know, I don't know. But, yeah. I, 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 put, I left the rear gear planetary outside. And, and it's it's New England. It's the middle of the winter. It's it's literally 10 degrees outside. It's Let me see what the temperature is in here. The temperature in here is 41 inside my garage. And I had the heat run in last night. but And it's insulated. but So it's like 41 in, in the garage. But outside, it's like 10 degrees outside. 10, 12 degrees, somewhere around there. So that sat out there all night. And then I prepped I put the my the baking oven in my kitchen up to 500 degrees at the, and I put the reluctor wheel in there and you guys seen it in a video it's dropped right on and it is locked on there it ain't moving that's unbelievable I'm so excited I'm so excited all right uh, all right well tonight I will be returning here and we will be uh reassembling this piece of shit and putting it back in a truck so, for me, I'm going to have to wait all day to do this because I got to go to work. But for you guys, it'll be in a couple seconds. Bam! I'm back. Now that we've changed, like, the pulleys on this, uh, wow, today was long. Long day at work. Is basically gonna have a heart it was like, you know, you just got something and it's home and you're at school or at work and you're waiting to get home. To, it was like that all day long. The, the minutes would do, were like forever it was like the clock was going like click 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 oh brutal anyway i'm back home now um we pressed the ring on this morning which it's it's awesome it's perfect the way it's supposed to be so now we're gonna have to uh reassemble this gear set the rear gear set and uh when I got home, um, I made up this uh, attachment here to go into my bench mount. Can you see it? Let me see. Yeah, you can. Let me show you. Right there. At work, my bench, I put a, I used a hole saw. I put a hole in my bench just for assembling rear gear sets so that would go in here and that would be on top of it so you can assemble it so it's not flopping around I seen guys on the internet balance them on their bench and one of them one of the videos it fell on the guy yeah it's just 
it's very easy. You either use your bench mount and make something with a two inch hole in it so it holds it or you put a hole in your bench and you put your gear set in. So it's very simple. But um, I'll inject a picture of my bench right now so you can see what I'm talking about. And yeah, that's that's basically what I use at work. So I don't have that ability here because I have, because I got, you know, drawers and stuff underneath here, counter uh, cupboards. 